Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really pretty toilet paper holder. You don't need a lot for this one and it is super easy. So let's get started. You'll need two fabrics, A and B. They're both going to be 18 inch by 21 inch. Heavy iron-on interfacing, you'll need two that are 18 inch by 21 inch. And the finish size is approximately 12 inch by 6 inch. This is the front side of both of my fabrics. Take your heavy iron-on interfacing and uh, adhere it to the back side of your fabric. Now follow the instructions that comes with the package of your heavy iron-on interfacing and you're going to do the same thing on the fabric for the outside as well as the inside. Then what I like to do because these pieces are so large is I'll do a machine basting stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge on both pieces because sometimes when you're working with this large of a piece the interfacing has a tendency to come apart. So just so that it's easier for you to handle throughout this project, I advise you to do your machine basting stitch. This is my 18 inch wide edge. So take it and bring it to the opposite side. And you're bringing front sides together of the fabric. And you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch down here and here and do the same thing with both the lining and the fabric for the outside. Take your fabric and on the sides you're going to push down so that it looks like this. You just push right down on it. Now I like to press this seam open. Take a ruler and three inches from this corner in that way you're going to draw a line. So place that three inch mark on there and with a pencil or fabric marker draw a line. Then put a few, few pins there to hold and then you're going to go ahead and stitch right on that line. You're going to do it on both sides on both the lining and the fabric for the outside and when you're done it's going to look like this. Okay, so you have both of these stitched. Now you're going to cut some of this off. So you're going to leave about a quarter of an inch of fabric down there. So cut these off and then go to the other side and do the same thing. So again, you're doing this both on the lining and the fabric for the outside. This is my lining piece here and I have the front side of the fabric sticking out and this is where the interfacing is. Take the fabric for the outside and you're going to insert the lining fabric inside of it. Then line up all of your edges. After you have the top edge either pinned or clipped, like I'm using here, you want to make sure you leave an opening here before you start stitching. So indicate where you're going to leave that opening. Make it large enough to where you can turn this front side out later. So do a quarter of an inch seam all the way around the top edge here and do back stitches at the on each side of the opening here and here. Reach inside the opening and begin bringing the bag front side out. So you're pulling that lining piece out. This is my fabric for the outside. You want to make sure that you reach inside your opening and poke at all of the four corners at the bottom. Then open this part up and insert the lining fabric inside. 
Now fold your edges in at your opening a quarter of an inch and then pin it closed. Then at your sewing machine you're going to stitch along this upper edge all the way around the top. The last step is just to fold the top edge over. Of course insert your toilet paper rolls and I think it looks very pretty and it will help tidy up your bathroom area. If you are interested in making other decorative containers, then go to the end of this video where you'll see a green screen and then click on the links. Now if you liked this video, click on that old thumbs up button. And click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red button down there in the lower right hand portion of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address and click on that little bell notification so that you will receive emails about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. I'll see you next time and don't forget Happy sewing.